third largest financial institution, Bankia, have fallen heavily in Madrid as investors react to news that it's to rely on the Spanish government to raise new capital. Reports in Spanish newspapers suggest Bankia will need up to 10 billion euro to protect it against future loan losses, primarily linked to the collapse of the Spanish property market. Bankia shares were down 6%. A number of leading Eurozone banks also saw their share prices hit as trading opened this morning. Well, for more on this, I'm joined now in studio by Peter Brown, Managing Director of the Irish Institute of Financial uh, Trading. Uh, Peter, thanks for joining us in studio. Worrying numbers coming out of Spain in regard to that bank. Just how big are the problems for Spain's banking sector? Well, we've known for quite a while that the, the problems were bigger than the authorities were admitting, uh, very similar to the Irish situation. Uh, there's been a big property collapse in Spain. Uh, a lot of the banks have lent uh, money into that, into that property market. So we knew it was coming. Uh, what's uh, been happening has been the, the authorities have been denying that they were going to put any uh, public funds into the banking system to bail it out. But this is a U-turn now with the third largest bank, Bankia, uh, and 10 billion, which isn't a lot of money in terms of uh, the uh, comparison to Ireland. The relevant figure would be about a billion in Irish terms. Uh, but we think it's the tip of the iceberg, that the Spanish property market is in dire state. Um, mostly lent to by the Spanish banks and you know there's estimates in the market of figures up to 100 billion needed. And are there wider implications here for the European, the EU banking sector? Yeah, the, the problem in the, in the EU now is a banking problem. It's not a sovereign debt crisis. We've moved on from that. It's a banking problem. We've got 800 banks on life support right across Europe uh, through the uh, ECB trillion uh, euros worth of LTRO money. Uh, banks in Europe are shrinking their balance sheets, which means they're not lending, which means lower growth. Uh, and the, this problem is a banking problem and over the next coming months uh, in Greece, Spain, Italy uh, and even Ireland it will be seen as a banking problem. Peter Brown, thanks for joining us uh, this afternoon. Now an index track